with Kendall Carson in Fresno for the Fresno Collectors Convention. It is jam-packed here. How are you, Kendall? <laughs> I'm great. How are you guys? I'm doing great. Well, this has been a wonderful convention. Uh, we have all sorts of collectibles here. Mm -hmm. Now, what are you selling exactly on your table? Um, <laughs> some sort of uh, films and photos. Explain exactly yes. what they are in detail. Uh, well, I have about nine different DVDs here with me that I'm autographing and writing dirty little messages to you guys on. I also have some 8x10s that I'm selling, some movie posters, have a couple, you know, worn pieces of lingerie, things like that, and definitely taking lots of pictures with people, so. Now you've been having a lot of people come by. Do you get, like, strange questions from people <laughs> that want to know, what are the weirdest things people ask you? I, I can't even say on camera what some of the things are that I get asked, but I do. I get asked lots of random questions, people who are, you know, curious about and inquiring about, you know, the industry and how it really works and what goes on and how they can be a part of it. So it's definitely entertaining. <laughs> a lot of people want to be in the business. There's always guys that are like, yeah, that's what I want to do. But having been on a lot of movie sets, tell them out there, these guys that want to do it, that think that they, this is a great job, you get to have sex with women. <laughs> what makes it What makes it not so great? What What's difficult yeah. about being a male sex performer? You know, it's a really difficult job. I have a lot of respect for the professional male performers in our industry. I mean, you guys are on set for multiple hours, let's say anywhere from like four to 14 hours easily in a day, depending on the type of movie you're doing. You have to constantly cut, keep your dick hard, even during the cuts, go back, be able to perform Perform, give a good performance, remember your lines, open up the camera. It's never a comfortable position because if you're comfortable, it doesn't look good. So, I mean, there's just so much, so many factors. Not to mention you have to have anywhere from, like, let's say two to eight people watching you perform. You know, so yeah. it's not as easy as everybody thinks it is. <laughs> yeah, what I understand is that some people that want to be in the industry is that uh, maybe if you have gone to parties and sex clubs and things mm -hmm. like this where there are... Uh, lots of people involved in sex. It makes it something you're at least familiar with. It still doesn't prepare you for being on camera in front of a crew, having pressure of these people watching you and you have to be able to perform. And if you don't perform and you fail, people aren't going to hire you. So, I mean, you have a lot on the line writing and it's hard to get in even to begin with. I mean, you pretty much have to be dating a really hot chick who's either already in the industry or getting in the industry and be okay with them fucking everyone. So... <laughs> Now, you've been in, how long have you been in the industry now, Kendall? Coming up on two years now. Wow, you're a veteran. <laughs> and like 200 movies already. Oh, not that many. A little okay. over 100, but. Um, scenes, 200 scenes maybe? Uh, no, a little over 100 scenes, but I have about 45 DVDs out and about half the box covers mm. and some really, really exciting things coming down the line, but I um, had my Best New Starlet POV scene uh, nomination to AVN this year. Next week I have the uh, Adult Movie Performer of the Year for Exotic Dancer Magazine nomination coming, and I have five nominations at the Sex Awards, so. And you have a very, very special movie coming out, and I was on set <laughs> for Duck Dynasty. <laughs> That's Duck Dynasty Triple X, and you of all people get to do a sex scene with Psy and his magic <laughs> cup. What was that like? <laughs> it was a very interesting experience. It was comedy at its best, that's for sure. <laughs> now there was a duck call uh, was involved, and then yes. the famous cup. Uh, now this Duck Dynasty is such a huge show, I can only imagine that the uh, porn parody is gonna do tremendous business. Right. Um, are you gonna send copies to your family for Christmas? I will not be sending copies to my family for Christmas, but I will to my fans. <laughs> Do your, now, did your family, they're cool about you being in it? They're just thrilled, thrilled beyond belief that you're a porn star? Uh, you know, at first they were very upset. Uh, my ex had actually sat them down at the computer and had them watch one of my first scenes. Oh, God, no. Yes, and my parents are Baptist missionaries, so it didn't go over so well. Um, but it took about four months, and we started talking again, and now we have even closer of a relationship than we used to. I still talk to them on a regular basis. I go home every two months to visit my family. So I wouldn't say that they're thrilled, but they're a little more at ease about what I do now than they used to be. <laughs> so let me get the, try to set the picture. Baptist ministers sitting down. You said with your husband at the time or ex? Uh, my ex-boyfriend. Ex-boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Come on, let's just sit. We're going to watch a little film. Your little <laughs> darling daughter. And then, do you remember which film that they watched? What did yes. what did they? What was the first thing they got to see you do? It was an exploited college girl type of scene. <laughs> yes. It was just a college they had paid for. No. <laughs> okay. So, 
did they have seizures? Were they taken away in an ambulance? Baptist ministers, I can only imagine what the reaction I mean, I wasn't there for the reaction, so I can't say. But I do know about the letters and emails and mm -hmm. text messages that I received, and it wasn't pretty. <laughs> so you think it's better to be up front? Because I have other friends that are in the industry, and they change their name, and their parents never find out. But you think it's better to just oh, well, throw it right in their I face? I think it depends on how active you are in the industry and what you do. Because uh, my scene had only been up for a week, and they had found out. So Wow. Yeah. So, oh, wow. As that's far crazy. As, you know, telling them up front, I don't know if it would have been any better. It probably would have been worse. I don't think that they would have handled it mm. any better. So. Interesting. Do you have yeah. brothers and sisters? I do. Uh, my brother is nine years older than me, and my sister is seven years older than me. And do they, are they fans of your movies? They do not watch my movies, but apparently a lot of their friends do. So. <laughs> So now you uh, have been able to uh, move from doing adult films, and now you're doing mainstream. Yes. And we can't say what it is, but you had an audition for a, uh, a large feature studio picture just yes. uh, yesterday. That's right, and it went amazing. I'm so excited. Definitely one of the scariest, most nerve-wracking things I've ever done, but it was well worth it. And now, there's a whole uh, thing happening now with adult stars and, and crossovers. Mm -hmm. And this is an interesting area. First of all, there's some films being made. I think there's one uh, a film that are very sex-based, that are mm -hmm. mainstream films. Right. They've been trying to do a crossover. I think it's called Nympho or something. Oh, I think that's the name of it. Um, but you and I actually worked on a horror film. Yes. Uh, tell uh, the fans out there, all three of them, <laughs> of me, and all 85,000 of you, what the uh, part is you played in the horror film. Uh, so basically, I was a girl who was vying for a role in one of your films as Corpsey being this mega Hollywood horror film director. And so I was basically a groupie and trying to do everything I could to get a role in the film. Well, that sounds really <laughs> interesting. And she did, and here she is. Now, you, you were in, in the movie, you were in a uh, cobweb, I believe, correct? I was. I Giant had cobweb. A big death scene at the end with another girl and we were wrapped up in a spider web and we had like spider eggs in our mouths and pouring out with like goop and it was so it's like a porn movie kind of. <laughs> except for the eggs that's a whole different movie yeah, that's... now this it was called the Pandora experiment now mm -hmm. it's called badass bugs yes so it'll be coming out hopefully in our lifetime because we made this like two years ago right? you know and I have to say when I signed up for the movie I had no idea that live bugs were gonna be used in my scene because I had like live like cockroaches and like worms and stuff crawling on my body that was an experience to say the least <laughs> speaking about things crawling on your body um, there's some people <laughs> over in your booth looking at your pictures we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna he's gonna talk to me you go right. you go sell some stuff we're just gonna talk to me because no one really gives a shit